Hey guys, it's Daniela. Welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. I had to start off by saying that. I can't believe that we are in 2021. Like that literally blows my mind. I feel like I didn't accomplish much in 2020, but a lot of us didn't, but a lot of us did. I see you. I'm excited that this is my first video of 2021. I've actually been working on collecting these vases and getting this project together and it took way too long. Anyway, so these are terracotta or I guess, or I guess you could just say that they're ceramic inspired vases. I literally just hit up my local savers last minute and found about three or four vases and then the other vases I either had them stored under my sink and then had my sister give me a few vases that she had laying around in her garage as well. I wanted to get a variety of vases. They came out absolutely beautiful. I'm so obsessed with them. I plan to do more projects with this technique and I have to mention that this DIY is so easy Anybody can do it. You really can't mess it up. Plus it's with supplies that you more than likely already have on hand. And I think that you guys will be impressed. I suggest you guys do this DIY if you do any of my DIYs. Let's go ahead and get started. Again, if you aren't subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it and if you wanna see more videos like this. And let's get going. All right, you guys, so here are the different bases I ended up finding. Like I said, I went over to Savers and I actually got really lucky with the vases that I found at Savers. I found them last minute. I had a 30% off coupon, so all of these were 30% off. Try to get different vases, different sizes, different heights, different textures, because the painting results look different on each vase and and then that way the finished results will also be really good all right guys before you get started with any of your painting projects make sure that your vases are nicely cleaned just took some dish soap and made sure that all of the stickers were removed because you want your surface to be nicely clean before you start painting it and then next, I ended up using a few different paintbrushes. I feel like using different paintbrushes will also give you different textures and the finished product will also be different. And then I grabbed some paints that I just had sitting in my garage and I mixed all of these paints together to get a similar color palette. All right, so you'll want to start by adding equal parts of paint and equal parts of baking soda. Eventually, you'll add more baking soda depending on the texture that you're going to want on your paint. I actually learned that the hard way. I didn't add enough baking soda to my black paint, so this vase took a really long time to finish. I had to let it sit and dry for a long time. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this face a little bit later with the second coat. All right, next I'm gonna go with this glass vase. I was nervous that the paint wasn't going to adhere well to this vase, but it ended up turning out really pretty. went ahead and added as you can see more baking soda to this so the paint is more gritty and I used a sponge brush I started by painting the inside of it I thought that would make it a lot easier for the vase to not be so transparent and then just start adding this in the same direction all around the vase All right, so next up is this vase, which I was super excited about painting because I think the taller vases are my favorite. I went with a lighter color for this one. And again, you can see that this one's a lot thicker. I added a generous amount of baking soda to this. 
For my second coat, I added much more baking soda to my paint because I wanted it to be a very gritty finish. All right, onto the black face. Here I go adding a second coat to it. Again, this round was a lot thicker. This paint was matte, so I feel like it dried up much faster. I feel like it made the finished paint product a lot thicker and grittier because of the type of paint it was. All right, and here I am going over this with a second coat as well. Again, adding more baking soda to my paint to give it a thicker finish. All right, so I mixed in some of this leftover black paint that I had, and I mixed it in with my white to make a dark gray cement color. You'll find that you have extra paint from the other vases. Mix those colors together, so then that way you have vases that are in the same color palette, and then they just blend well together. I thought this vase reminded me of like a genie lamp. Anyway, I knew that I wanted this vase to be white the moment that I saw it at the store. added way too much paint in this one <laughs> and I wasted so much baking soda doing this one as well but the vase ended up looking so pretty so it was worth it All right, again with that same paint, since I had so much of it, I'm just gonna mix some other paint colors into it to give it a similar shade. This color came out so pretty. It's very similar to the other vase that I already painted, but it's still a little bit different. All right, and then again, because I had so much of this paint left, I mixed it in with some white and it made this really pretty gray color with a tint of blue. This face was actually kind of hard to paint because of all of the different grooves. They go in different directions, so I was having a hard time getting it to look perfect. But here are the finished results. Look how beautiful these vases turned out. Don't they look so real, like ceramic vases? I think they came out so pretty. Add a very natural, very minimalist vibe to any area. I really hope you guys liked this video. Make sure that if you aren't subscribed, you subscribe now. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.